George and their friends get together to play a game of soccer, the boys against the girls. But what happens when the two teams can't agree on what's fair? Hello, adventurers. I'm your magical host, Francesca, but you can call me Franny. Today, I have another fun story for you. We will be reading Peppa Pig Plays Soccer by Scholastics. Are you ready to see how Peppa and her friends resolve their problem? Let's begin. It is a sunny day. Peppa and Susie Sheep are playing tennis while George watches. To you, Susie! Cheers, Peppa, hitting the ball. To you, Peppa! She shouts, hitting the ball straight over Peppa's head. Oh, dear! Way! George feels left out. Sorry, George, says Peppa. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. George can be the ball boy! Cheers, Susie. Being a ball boy is a very important job, George, says Peppa. Peppa and Susie are having lots of fun, but they keep missing the ball. Ball boy! They shout together. George is not having fun. He keeps running to get the ball, and he is very tired. Then more of Peppa's friends arrive. Hello, everyone, says Peppa. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? Asks Danny Dog. There aren't enough rackets for everyone, replies Susie Sheep. Let's play soccer then, says Danny Dog. Soccer! Hooray! Everyone cheers. We can play girls against boys, says Peppa. Each team needs a goalkeeper, says Danny Dog. Me, me! Shouts Pedro Pony. Me, me! Cries Rebecca Rabbit. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit decide to be the goalkeepers. The boys team will start, says Danny Dog. Richard Rabbit gets the ball and runs very fast, right by Peppa Pig, Susie Sheep, and Candy Cat, and straight up to the... Goal! Shout Danny and Pedro together as Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight past Rebecca Rabbit and into the net. The boy is a winner, cheers Danny Dog. That's not fair. We weren't ready, moans Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit picks up the ball and runs. Hey, shouts Danny Dog. That's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can, says Rebecca. I am the goalkeeper. Rebecca throws the ball into the goal straight past Pedro Pony. Goal, she cheers. Oh, that goal is not allowed, says Pedro. Yes, it is, says Peppa. No, it isn't, barks Danny. Daddy Pig comes outside to see what all the fuss is about. What a lot of noise, he snorts. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal wins. Richard Rabbit and George run off with the soccer ball while everyone is still talking. Where's the ball? Asks Peppa, looking around. But it's too late! Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight into the goal, past Pedro Pony. Hooray, the boys win, cries Danny. Soccer is a silly game, says Peppa, disappointed. Just a moment, says Daddy Pig. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. <gasps> really? The girls gasp. Hooray! Soccer is a great game, cheers Peppa. The girls agree. Adventurers, thank you for joining us for this delightful adventure with Peppa Pig and her friends. I hope you had as much fun listening to the story as I did sharing it with you. Remember, every book is a new journey waiting to be explored. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun stories. Until next time, stay curious, keep reading, and keep exploring. See you in the next adventure. <laughs>